Hi, this is Mato. In this video, I will show a very beautiful chess game. This is the game between William Wright and Ronald Feingold that was played in Detroit in 1990. And where is Detroit? Detroit is the largest city in the United States state of Michigan. Detroit is a metonym for the American automobile industry. Let's have a look at the game. In this game, William Wright had white pieces and he started with d4. Feingold played d5, c4, queen's gambit. But now, e5, Albin, counter gambit. Pawn takes pawn, d4, and white played e3. White was hoping for pawn takes pawn. And then queen takes queen check. King takes queen. Bishop takes on e3. And white is doing well. e3 was played. But black didn't capture on e3. Black played bishop to b4 check. Bishop to d2. And we have reached critical position of the game. It is black to move. If you wish, you can pause this video and you can try to find the best move for black in this position. Ready? What did you find? In the game, black captured pawn on e3. Did he forget about his bishop? Well, white thought so. He captured bishop. Let's go back. Better move is the ugly looking one. Pawn takes pawn on e3. And then we would have this continuation. Queen to h4. This is check. g3. Queen to e4, attacking rook. Queen to f3. Bishop takes bishop, check. Knight takes on d2. Queen takes on e5. This is better variation for white than one played in the game. So in this position, we have bishop takes bishop. Now, pawn takes pawn, check. What happens if king takes pawn? If king takes pawn, then queen takes queen. So king has to protect his wife. King to e2 was played. It is black to move. What would you play in this position if you had black pieces? Have a good look. Pause the video if you wish. What is the winning move? Would you play bishop to g4? That would be a good move if knight to f3 wasn't available. So in the game, black captured knight, promoting it to the knight. Check. And now if rook takes knight, what happens then? Then bishop to g4, check. And black is winning white queen. So in this position, king to e1 was played. Queen to h4, check. King to d2. Knight to c6, attacking bishop. Bishop to c3. Bishop to g4, attacking queen. Another piece came into the game with a tempo. Queen to e1. Castling queenside, check. King to e3. Queen to g5, check. King to f2. Rook to d1, attacking queen. Queen to e4. Bishop to f5. No rest for the wicked. 
queen to e3. In this position, black played a move and white resigned. What would you play in this position if you had black pieces? Black captured bishop on f1, check. And white resigned in view of this continuation. King takes rook, queen takes queen, and now if rook takes on g1, white is losing in all variations, but this is the shortest one. Bishop to d3, check, mate. Let's go back to our critical position. e3 is the wrong move, falling in the Laskas trap. The right move is knight to f3, and after a knight to c6, g3, and if knight from g2 is 7, bishop to g2, knight to g6, bishop to g5, queen to d7, castling kingside, and white is better. And that is all. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. I wish you good luck with your chess, and bye for now.